beauty of nature in Norway is nothing short of awe-inspiring. With its dramatic landscapes that combine crystal clear lakes, breathtaking fjords, majestic mountains and idyllic islands. In order to see this diversity, I researched dozens of blogs, vlogs and hiking apps. So this is my selection of the top 6 trails, each best in its own category. Now come join me to explore the mind-blowing nature of Norway. Norway boasts numerous pristine lakes, but there's one that stands out in color, layout and surrounding terrain. It's Lake Gjende. There's a trail which goes along it and takes you up onto a steep ridge, the Besegen. And on this hike you're able to see six lakes in total. In order to get to the trailhead, a ferry ride is recommended, but it operates only during summer. So in other seasons the hike can be done as a 25 km loop. Parking for this hike lies 2 kilometers from the trailhead, so there's a shuttle available. I used it for my way back. My adventures for the day did not stop here. On my way to the next hotel I came across a road closure and I was told to go back and drive along the other shore of the local lake. However, there the road was also closed so Waze redirected me onto a one lane forest road where I didn't meet any other car which was weird. But the best part, I ended up at a closed gate. What? Luckily it wasn't locked so I reached my destination, but the detour took me one and a half hours extra. A very weird incident with a road closure that offers no real alternative route, something I've never experienced anywhere else before. After a delicious breakfast, I was ready to head to the most famous fjord in Norway, the Geiranger Fjord.
There's a trail that leads to a remote mountain farm, the Skogafla. It was a goat farm and was inhabited from the Middle Ages until 1916, now abandoned for more than a century. In order to get to this mountain farmstead, you can hike both ways, or take a boat transfer to the trailhead or back from it. I did the hike to the farm and booked a boat trip for my way back. Geiranger Fjord is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it's one of the deepest fjords in the world. It's also the most famous one and so it's called the King of Fjords. And it also hides the most prominent waterfall in Norway, the Seven Sisters. I'm on my way to meet them.
The boat dock sits right below the farm at the foot of this cliff. The climb is very steep, but it's safe. The route to my next stop included a ferry ride and I wasn't sure how to pay for the ticket. Turn out my rental car had an auto pass device that was automatically registering all ferries as well as road tolls. Something that you can take into account when planning your trip here. My destination was the fjordside town of Ondalsnes and what a drive this was. Romsdalsegen, the hardest trail on my list, is a crazy rich hike and since it's a bit dangerous it's only allowed as a one-way hike so you'll need a lift to the trailhead. I use the shuttle offered by my hotel but it can be also done by public transport. The hike itself is a very diverse one. It starts on wide green pastures filled with wild sheep then involves a rocky climb and then leads along the ridge to a mountain hut from where it descends back into the center of the town.
top of this mountain my nose starts to bleed maybe the pressure was too much The first three hikes were in the southern part of Norway. The remaining three will be in the far north, which lies in the Arctic Circle. It's cheaper to take a domestic flight to Tromsø and rent a car there, than drive the whole way up, so that's what I did. From Tromsø I drove down to the Lofoten Islands and stayed the first night in the picturesque fishing village of Reina. After exploring Raina, this idyllic village surrounded by breathtaking natural beauty, I set out to Rainebringen, a short but quite steep hike, or rather a set of 1500 stairs made of rocks by Sherpa. Its viewpoint on the top promises to grant me a stunning view over Raina.
The Lofoten Archipelago has many incredible trails, but there's one that is special. It's the Kvalvika beach hike. It leads to an isolated beach which hides a few secrets. From here you can continue two ways, either climb Riten to get a nice view over the beach, or as I did, go the opposite way, where a second beach is hiding behind the foot of the mountain. This section turned out to be a pretty demanding one, with narrow trails next to deep drop-offs. But at one point I ended up at this narrow crack line that was supposed to be the only holding point hanging over a 20 meter slope. Although tempting, I decided not to go for this risk, especially being alone here. Soon after, I realized my hiking app said that this is a very difficult path. But it seemed to be lower than I was, and then I saw chains below me. And this was indeed the right way. Needless to say, I had it all to myself. And on my way back I found the abandoned hut that I had seen some 10 years ago in the documentary called North of the Sun. It had been built by two surfers who decided to stay in the hut for a whole arctic winter.
the king of Norway and the king of the universe. After leaving the Lofoten Islands, I went back north to another stunning island, Senja. I will climb Pesten, which offers probably the best view of any summit in Norway. Since it has become a popular hiking destination lately, a dedicated parking area has been created in a place where until recently the Norwegian sea hit its waves. Even my old trails app shows that I am on water right now. Halfway up, the wind and rain picked up, but I decided to continue and push for the summit. And then, from the summit of Heston, the view to the majestic rock of Segla. I couldn't enjoy the view for too long, as the wind increased even more, slowly turning into an arctic storm. The only two people I met were two hikers from New Zealand who had planned to stay the night here, but the storm had destroyed their tent and they had to break camp. But this stormy end to my journey was a beautiful last meeting with the rough nature of Norway, and I truly savored it. I hope you too. Thanks for coming along with me, and see you in one of my next videos. Bye.